Okay, I'm going to go over some fertilizer requirements for squash. Now, whether you're organic or buying commercial fertilizer, uh, it's important always to get a soil test for your fields and use that as a gauge for initial amendments. However, there's two fertilizer classes you should have on hand if you are growing squash. The first one would be early in the season, that's up until flowering, that would be a nitrogen source. It could be a calcium nitrate, which is a great initial source, especially when the soils are cool. Urea, which needs to be incorporated into the soil, because if it's not, it will volatilize and you'll lose a lot of the nitrogen to the atmosphere. Or blood meal for organic uh, restrictions. Uh, it can also be used. But I have a hard time justifying the about $1.50 per pound they're charging for blood meal when these other nitrogen sources will work uh, just fine also. Um, other than nitrogen, you should get a potassium for fruit fill, and that would be post-flowering. Uh, sulfate of potassium, 0050, is a low-salt potassium fertilizer. And there's also potassium nitrate. Uh, if there's still a need for some residual nitrogen, that's a good source, but rarely do you need to be adding both nitrogen and potassium, especially late in the season. So again, you take a soil test to get the exact amounts that you may need, but these are two good classifications of fertilizer to have on hand if you're growing squash.